Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez aka Silver Crow, and today another Bleach A Thousand Year Blood War arc review, episode 10, The Battle. Now, this first part, mwah, chefs kiss a million of them. This is a battle that we were anticipating for over a decade a bit after they introduced the battle in the manga. Now, this does contain a little bit of spoilers. So, also, that does contain the chapters between 525 all the way to the first part, the first page of 528. Now, we'll get into that at, towards the end. But first, this first, first things first, this battle. It's everything that a lot of us wanted and more. And I can, I mean, videos I already did with this, I cannot say enough. The animation for it can, did it this battle justice. I was hoping it would, and it delivered more than I, I ever expected. And like I explained, I think, I think I explained in the other video that to me personally, and they even said in the said not, it didn't even say in the, in the in the show, but they hinted that the title of Kimpachi. It's a lot more than just a title. It's more. It's not just physical. It's more also mental as well. But as you realize, over the time that we get to know a few Kimpachi, they have somewhat of a hiccup with Unahana. She want the reason why she, uh, her, the reason why she learned healing keto is for an internal battle. Same thing with the uh, with the Kimpachi, what the restraint that he put on himself. He wants to enjoy the battle, and that was his biggest week. That was the job between that was Unohana's job to do for Zoraki is to make him to make him take those restraints off, due to the fact that yes, we understand that he's strong. We under, they understand that yes. He does deserve the title of Kimpachi, but how can you have that title if you have this much restraint on your own abilities? So that was her job, and each time she kills him and revives him, more and more he goes back towards how he was when he, in his past. And her acting very Bankai, oh, it's just like a witch's brew full of blood. And I was explaining to my roommate that there's a different reason why when she said Bankai Mizuzuki, basically it's her Shikai name as well. So it's the different the difference of pronunciation. I the best way I can put it is, <clears throat> and it's like how she her personality. To be honest, it's like how it's, um, Zanga no Tachi has different. Um, point the bankai evolved technically in weird way her bankai kind of evolved past how she was 2000 years ago now and <sighs> again I cannot give props enough to the animation for this the people who the animators for, for this especially this battle whoo man and <clears throat> and going a little bit towards uh, the battle between her and Zaraki, have this mental mind <clears throat> mind wave realizing a hey, my job is to unlock your full potential. That her her biggest sin was being weaker than Zaraki. The, her plus having him having her be the purpose the reason why he put restraints on him made her feel worse for the people who made him feel worse for him to be honest due to the fact that she knows his potential for his hand he was le legit really the one, only one she saw Besides the seventh, Mufaji saw basically 
the true name for Kenpachi. He he can bear this because it's not like I said. It's not just a title. It has its own weight to it. And she going he was going to end up experiencing the same somewhat of the same aspects that Unahara uh, uh, experienced, like being bored. You know, having no one who's strong who's strong like him to fight. Only one person who came close was literally Ichigo, and that was just him. That's just the Rocky holding back, not realizing he was. So. When he realized, hey, this is fun, this I'm going back to how it was, he realized I would have been asleep this whole time. And he was. Because after he <clears throat> axed off Unahana and cried, basically he didn't want he didn't want the battle to the end. You know, he respected her and downright adored and admired her. But she did her job for him to become stronger. To him to actually carry, feel the weight of that title of Kenpachi. That was her job to do. And after that, she he finally heard his Zanpakuto, which Kuba did t- tell us, yes, his Zanpakuto is a female Zanpakuto. Now, like, if he ever draws his... Uh, Sampato spirit, it will most likely be a, a, and he said it will probably be someone with an eye patch. He loves loves people with eye patches. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, then the second part when you had we got introduced to Oetsu Nomida, the number one god sort of creator for Zampaktos. Now. Him creating a lot of female Zabato would, you know, like, just create your own harem? There were swords of harem. <laughs> of- <laughs> and having them, him, having Renji and Ichigo doing a bag pose while standing up on their, sh- <laughs> on their forearms, <laughs> standing straight up, up, upside down. <laughs> oh, man, like, he, it just... But he brought up a good point towards when him having them into the Hohoden fighting the Asuchis with basically nameless Zanpaktos, as he explained. Uh, but they were angry at them because there was no... Lo- and though they Zanpaktos do, do love them, it's one of those things that you have to show love back. You have to give... It's a, it's a give and receive constantly. And, you know, Renji won. It was because the, the battle between them and the Suji was three days. Three days, basically. And you have that with Renji being victorious and Ichiko not. Wondering what. And he said, hey, you're technically you're a fake Soul Reaper. Yeah, you need to get out. Never come back to the Soul Side. And he did kick them out, but for a good reason. He does not know who he really is. And this is coming back to what I said in the beginning. About the first part of uh, the first page of chapter 528. Which is going to introduce for episode 11. Which is everything but the rank. Now that's what I've been waiting for too personally. Because the haiku they had at the end. Is and it's with Misaki, Ichigo's mom, and that's I'm like, oh, this is going to be good because I'm not just just like with the Kenpachi fights. I'm hoping they do this justice. This is a I explained to my roommate. This is a necessary flashback due to the fact. It's going to explain a lot of stuff that a lot of people need to know. That yes, about Ichigo's mom, Ichigo's dad, and Ichigo in general. Because 
yes, he knew during Eisen. He yes, he know he knew that his dad was a soul reaper. But he didn't. He also didn't really understand why he already had hollow powers. You know, yeah, yeah. A lot of people jump on. Well, he activated his hollow power during the whole thing when we tried to get silver powers back, which is debatable at best. But at the same time, it, sh- it was it was that strong, knowing that type of how Ichigo overcome a lot of stuff just by sheer will. But anyway, oh man. I just can't wait for episode 11. So, so if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'll, like I said, I'll be doing this until this arc is over. So, till next time, peace out.